Hello and welcome to 5MXL class. Today we will be talking about the headcount analysis which is very very important for the HR professionals and we would do this analysis with the waterfall chart. So how will it look like, right? So it looks like this, right? So where we will be able to see the headcount information of different different departments and uh, we will be using some storytelling uh, in, within the chart right so that we can get more insight on the chart so let's do it but first of all let us understand what is waterfall chart. So a waterfall chart shows a running total as values are added or subtracted. So it's useful for understanding how an initial value is affected by a series of positive and negative values. So we will analyze that what was our initial headcount number and how did we reach to our final headcount number at the end of the year? And in between, we will see that in each month, uh, what number of people have left the company and what number of people joined in. So let's do it. So we have our raw data here for multiple departments and for the whole year 2020 so to analyze it or extract the data from raw data worksheet to our dashboard data sheet i used a helper column because we have separated a new recruit multiple times in several rows right so to extract it correctly i will take the help of this helper column so my first objective is to prepare a drop down list here or depending on what are the departments we have within the organization so for this i will create a list first which is a unique list right so we have our front unique which is a new function been added in microsoft 365 so with the help of unique i will extract only the unique department names from here right so let's press enter now we have the unique list here so I will create a list by using data validation, right? So I'll go to list and mark the department names and press OK. Now the list is prepared. The second objective is to bring the headcount numbers from this raw data worksheet to here right okay so I will use X lookup to extract the data so my lookup value would be this and this and my and my department name right so there are three lookup values and the next would be where should i look for these values right so i will look for these values in my raw data worksheet so i will identify the helper numbers here the entire array right Press F4 to freeze it and I will join the month's names obviously and 
also the department names right so what I want to return I want to return the headcount numbers okay now the function is over I will press enter it doesn't bring any data because I haven't selected any department here now you can see that the numbers are coming up all right so I will copy this I will select the entire range of uh, rows from here and I will simply press the function keys but it's not working so what's the problem here uh, let us see I haven't freeze this right so I need to freeze this which is the department cell number and again I will paste the values here now you can see the numbers right okay cool now I need to prepare my waterfall chart out of this so let me select all the information here I will press insert from the ribbon and <coughs> and I will go to the recommended chart area but where is my waterfall chart here you can see Excel has identified that I can use the waterfall chart even if it's not recommended you can always go to all chart area and go to waterfall chart from here so now press ok this will create a lovely waterfall chart for you right so now what we need to do is we need to adjust the chart so that we can see the exact reflection out of it right so I need to select the data and set this as total right set this as total set this as total because these are the number we had after adding the new recruits and removing or subtracting the separated number right so this is the number we are looking for at the end of each month or or maybe at the end of the year right so let me just set all the totals first and then I will modify the chart so that to bring it to my choice of a data presentation right so I will simply remove this information from here because we have this here as well right so let me just make it different right so that looks good to me okay cool and what I will do is I will format the data series and actually I will just remove or minimize the gap width right so that it looks a bit thicker and um, let us remove the shape outline because I don't like uh, the outlines right okay uh, so if you want to remove this uh, legends from here you can do this because you already know that the negative figures or the orange colors are your people who 
were separated from the organization and the blue bars indicates that who joined your organization and the gray bars are the final number of deducting uh, or final number after deducting the separated employees and adding the new recruits right so here is my waterfall chart very easy to do in Microsoft 365 so now I will bring my December 19 number right so I have just inserted some symbols here you can do this by going to insert and going to symbols and select symbol you can get uh, it from Segoy UI emoji right so there are number of uh, pictures or symbols available that you can use right so I will simply copy it control C copy and so I will use if function here. So if my last value is less than the starting number, then we will show a symbol, right? So if the last value is less than the initial number that means we have a decrease right or else if the last value is greater than the first value then we have increase right Otherwise, there will be nothing. It's equal, right? So, we can see that <coughs> the number have decreased. So, we have a downsided arrow, all right? And it's been uh, color coded so I have used a conditional formatting here so if I go to manage rules what I have used is if this icon shows up it would be colored as red cancel so another is if it's downsided it will show as green font right okay so that is how I use conditional formatting here now what I will do is I will see the average number of people who have left so I will use average if and the range would be this right comma and the criteria would be separated comma and the average range is this f4 now it's done enter let me just paste the formula I will use another thing that is apps so that ABS will convert any number to the positive number, right? So cool. And now for the separate, uh, I will use an icon, right? So control C for separated. I want to show a downsided arrow, and for new recruit I will show an upsided arrow so uh, my work is done and now I can use 
my drop down list to see whether it works. It is working, right? So cool. So if you like this video, please put a like in my YouTube video by clicking on the thumb. And if you want to subscribe my channel, go to 5MBXL class and subscribe to it and please press the bell icon so that you remain updated on my latest videos. Thank you so much. And uh, another last thing that if you want to enroll into a data visualization course, I mean the advanced data visualization, the link is in the post description or video description. Uh, I have a online I have a live training coming up on 26th of March 2021 that is on Friday so please enroll and enjoy the world of advanced data visualization thank you